Hello, my name is Seb and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to set up a Solana Phantom wallet. So let's dive on in. All right, so here we are at Twitter. So this is me here, twitter.com forward slash Seb Montgomery. You're welcome to follow me and ask any questions here. What we want to do though is we want to go and search Twitter and just type in Phantom. So Phantom's a wallet we're using. Select this one here. The handle is just P-H-A-N-T-O-M. This is the legitimate Phantom. To give you a few tips on what to look for, we want to see a high number of followers. This has 350,000 odd. Uh, a join date, which corresponds to when we think they would have been joining. So if it said, you know, last month, then we could assume that this could be a, a fake. You know, if it said February 2023 and they have this many followers, it could potentially be a fake uh, account set up by people to scam. And we want to check a few other things such as the ability to reply. You know, if we can reply, it's generally a sign that it's a legitimate company as scammers will do many things to copy another product and then they won't give you the ability to actually reply. Then we can click phantom.app and this is the actual legitimate website. Now with this one here, um, you can just post this, you can just put phantom.app straight into the web browser, but it is a good idea to go via Twitter if, if you are just new to the space and you're learning what is, what is legitimate. Now let's click on download. This is available for mobile as well, but we're just going to be covering it for desktops. I don't have an iPhone or iOS device, but this is uh, the application here. When you're downloading it, make sure you're using the correct link and make sure it has at least a 4.4 rating or round about that 553 actual ratings. With Google Play, it is a little bit easier for someone to put in a, a, a illegitimate application to the App Store. So you want to make sure it has 3.7 stars out of 5 and 500,000 plus downloads. Then you can go ahead and download it. It's very, very easy to do it on your phone. But if you need help, we can always make another tutorial. Now, so let's have a look at getting it for Phantom for desktop. You can get it for Edge, Firefox, Brave or Chrome. You cannot get it for Safari. Uh, and I prefer to use Brave. It's a more private browser. It's what we're using right now. So once we get here, we, we know that it's correct. It has 2 million plus users and 565 ratings. Add to Brave add extension and in in a few seconds it will install it will take us here and it's nice and full screen if you're coming from another chain such as solana sorry if you're coming from another chain like ethereum or polygon you can click on redeem beta code and i have a little code here thank you seb you can click redeem and then you can gain access to the other chains as i'm assuming this is your first time jumping into the blockchain we won't, we won't add any extra uh, difficulty. You can add at another stage. We're just going to click create a new wallet. We can put in our password or create a password and continue. Uh, sorry, I should add, of course, if you are coming from another chain or you can always use, I have another wallet, but there's no harm in creating another wallet. So create a new wallet. Now putting in a password, you may put something simple like, I don't know your cat's name, number one and an exclamation mark. My suggestion would be to do something pretty hardcore. So I suggest using, I have no sponsorship or affiliation with 1Password, but it's a very decent password manager. Very, very decent. It's paid, it's not too expensive, but basically this gives you the ability to make really secure passwords and then you keep them in this little wee application, which is available for your phone as well as for uh, your computer. So for this, I'm just going to use a very simple password because it's a tutorial. However, mine, my actual password is re recalled and remembered by 1Password and it's properly secure. Then we click continue. You can read the terms if you want and then just hover over your secret recovery phrase. So at this point, this is where you'd start typing it in hat sample to fi these 12 words into one password or wherever you're going to keep it nice and safe. There will be a tendency for someone to use a screenshot or take a phone picture. 
That is not my suggestion. Uh, there's a few things when it comes to secret recovery phrases, but the, the long story short is, if anyone has this code, they have access to the entirety of your crypto, they can take it, and there's no way to return that. Like, they take it, long story short, someone has this code, your crypto is gone. So this is, this is like your internet banking password. Keep it super, super safe. And also make sure that you type it down or write it down correctly and you fully, fully check it. Hat, sample, defy, enemy, roast, vault, course, picture, comfort, seek, regret, swarm. Once you've, once you've got it recorded down, you've triple checked it, you know it's correct. You've got it in a couple of safe places or whatever then you can click I save my secret recovery phrase and then continue and continue. Now Phantom does not prompt you to input some more of those words to make sure you've got it right so that's why you need to make sure that it's completely completely right. Then we can come up to our extension panel here and just click on the pin icon. Now we have our very own wallet we've got our account here if you want to buy some Solana you can click buy Solana type in the amount in either USDC or Sol. I believe the minimal amount is $50. So if we put in like 45, minimum purchase is $50. And then you'd go through the provider you wanted to do, Coinbase Pay or Moon Pay, if you want to do that. Alternatively, it's quite often that someone's going to be connected to someone in the crypto space. So if you ask me for some Solana, I'm not going to give it to you because I don't know you but a personal friend you know to have them kind of play on the on the chain of course I would send them a dollar a couple of dollars and someone else would do that as well so you can always go down that path otherwise there are a few exchanges out there which we can cover as well such as binance.com there are other ones as well like coinbase and crypto.com so I can cover these in tutorials as well moving forward all right so Back into our Phantom Wallet, a very, very quick little run through. This is your account for now. If we click on deposit and then Solana, this will give us a QR code that you can scan or your friend can scan, or it gives us the same, this, this is the exact same address and this is your public address. So if we copy this, we could provide this to someone else. What I would like to see you do though, is paste it, open the, Phantom Wallet again and just double check that the first four characters and the last four characters, there are no errors in here whatsoever. So they are all correct and only ever copy and paste, never ever freehand type under any circumstances because if you send it to the wrong address, you cannot get that back. It's also, it means it's, it's case sensitive, which means that a lowercase g and uppercase g it must be exactly how it is. This uh, applies to Solana, not necessarily other blockchains like Ethereum, but it must be G7PW uppercase, uh, and then down here, uppercase Q, capital N, lowercase P, lowercase O. So just keep that in mind, you can send that address to friends or, to, or you can use it with an exchange just to fund your wallet. And when you send some uh, crypto in here, you can you can start off with but i'll show you another tutorial how to do that uh, one thing to be sure of though if we come into our settings panel security and privacy and show secret recovery phrase you never do this in a public place this you never give to your friends you don't give it to anyone this is for you and only for you same thing with a private key a private key is similar to a secret recovery phrase too much to go into on this particular video but if someone has this, they have access to the wallet. The only difference is um, you have one address here and we can always create another address like this. We can have two different addresses. You can see it's a different address. If we have two different addresses, they're all linked to the same secret recovery passphrase. So the English words, however, they all have their own individual private key. And that's how you set up a Solana Phantom wallet. So, so easy. Make sure you share this video with your friends that are interested in the space. This way you can just send it to them. They know all the right links, nothing too challenging. And if they have any questions or if you've got any questions, just post them below 
and I'll help you or direct you on where you need to go. Also, I'll put out a lot more content, so make sure you're following me to learn other things that are happening in the space, any things to enter, as well as just day by day you can learn a little bit more about Solana. Thanks again, we'll catch you in the next video.